Did you know that Australia once went to war with emus? Yes, the bird. Well, it's true. In the year 1932, Australia found itself embroiled in what's now known as the Great Emu War. The enemy? A massive population of emus that were wreaking havoc on the country's crops. Imagine this. Thousands of emus running wild gobbling up wheat fields left and right. The situation was so dire that the Australian military was called in to handle it. Armed with machine guns the soldiers thought it would be a piece of cake. But those emus were no pushovers. Fast, elusive, and surprisingly resilient, the birds proved to be a formidable adversary. Despite their best efforts, the military struggled to make a dent in the emu population. In the end, they had to wave the white flag. Yes, you heard it right, the emus won the war. So next time you see an emu, remember, they have a military victory under their belt. Moving on to a rather rhythmic event, ever heard of a time when people just couldn't stop dancing? Well, strap on your dance shoes, because we're waltzing back to the year 1518. Picture this, Strasbourg Alsace, which is now modern-day France. Suddenly, people start dancing, and they just can't stop. This wasn't a flash mob or an impromptu party, this was the dancing plague. For days on end citizens twirled, hopped and leaped around the town, unable to control their jiving bodies. But why did this happen? Theories abound, from religious fervor to ergot poisoning. But the most widely accepted explanation? Stress-induced mass hysteria. That's right, the pressures of 15th century life got so intense that people danced their troubles away, literally, for days on end. So next time you feel like busting a move, remember the dancing plague of 1518? And you thought your last dance-off was intense. Now let's shimmy our way to the next bizarre event. If you think modern courts are peculiar, wait until you hear about the time a pig was put on trial. Picture this. The year is 1394, in the heart of France. A pig, of all creatures, stands accused of a heinous crime, the murder of a child. But this was no ordinary trial. In a spectacle that would raise eyebrows even today, the pig was dressed up in human clothes, as if to underscore the gravity of its alleged crime. Now you might be wondering, did they really take this seriously? Yes they did. The court proceedings were as thorough as any other. Witnesses were called, testimonies were heard, and finally a verdict was reached. The pig was found guilty. Its punishment? Execution. A grim end for our poor sign defendant indeed. Well that brings when pigs fly to a whole new level of oddity, doesn't it? Ever been in a sticky situation? Probably not as sticky as the Great Molasses Flood of 1919. Imagine this. It's a sunny day in Boston, USA. Suddenly a large storage tank bursts, and a wave of molasses engulfs the streets. The molasses, thick and relentless, surges at an estimated 35 miles per hour. It's not just a trickle, it's a tsunami of sweet, sticky doom. The unbelievable speed and force of the molasses wave result in chaos and destruction. It's a disaster that sounds more like a scene from a Hollywood movie than an actual historical event. Unfortunately, it was all too real. The molasses flood claimed 21 lives and left 150 injured. Buildings were damaged, lives were lost, and a city was left to clean up the sticky mess. So, there you have it, folks. History is not only about kings, wars, and discoveries, but also about dancing plagues, emu wars, pig trials, and molasses floods. Stay curious and keep exploring the odd corners of our past.